Azeroth's fall will cover their hands, and you shall be the first to die. Hello everybody, Scutorius here with a, a very great video, a very brilliant video. Now, what do we talk about in this video? Obvious. What's happened to the Death Knights? Oh, anyway, but besides that point, um, in today's video we are talking about Death Knights. From the blood to the unholy to the frost, Death Knights, all in all, are... A very good class. However, I have realised that Blizzard has been stomping all over our ideas. Blizzard seem to hate us Death Knights a lot. They seem to think that our class doesn't deserve anything. Yes, that is in my perfect honesty, and we don't deserve any races apparently. Blizzard. This a this video idea was inspired by a comment that Pyromancer made. So. You may have saw the Pyromancer video where he was talking about how, you know, how Warlocks are getting trampled all over, but he mentions, I wonder how the Death Knights feel. Now, 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 Pyromancer, this is directed to you. This is how, honestly, how we feel. Shit. That's how we feel. Us Death Knights are trodden on every day, and, you know, everyone seems to think we're a terrible class, and, you know. Our lore and our story just doesn't make sense because of one thing, and one thing only, and it's that the Lich King wasn't there. So, example, example A, Dark Iron Dwarfs, and I will talk about Dark Iron Dwarfs later in the video, and for the reason. Now, they use that excuse that, ah, oh, the Lich King wasn't around the Burning Steps, the Badlands, all that sort of area, but please explain more, Blizzard. And please explain why, because, you know, I found a loophole in your system. I found a way to get around with it, and this is what I'll be talking about in this video. So, the loophole that they use is the example I just given earlier. That they always use the, uh, the Lich King wasn't there excuse. Now, I found a good loophole in your system, and Legion. Legion was the expansion where you actually made that loophole. So, Death Knights, we get our artifacts, we get our Mordor Damned, we get our Popsicles that are, you know, Frostborn basically, and we get our sword which is full of disease and stuff like that, and, you know, the plague probably. <laughs> basically, bubonic plague in a sword. There you go. Or, mnemonic paid, I don't really know. Any plague will do. Um, yeah, so through that, there is a Class Order Hall campaign. Throughout this class order hall campaign, we are resurrecting the new Four Horsemen. Because, as you remember, in Naxxaramas, we killed every single one of them. Including that one that uses the light. But we're not going into why you can use the light of the Dev Knight. We're not talking about that. And we're excluding Lightforged as a subject. So, Lightforged, Lightforged community, don't cry, please. Don't you dare cry. <laughs> so... Yes, so we resurrect the Four Horsemen, the new Four Horsemen, from Nazgrim all the way to Sally White Main and Darien Mograin. So, that happens and we resurrect them. And we are the Death Lord, they call us in the end. So, here's that loophole I'm going to talk about, which is the same idea. So, they use the excuse of, ah, the Lich King wasn't there, but I found a new way of explaining it. So, Here's the example. So if a Death Lord is the servant of the Lich King and is being empowered by the Lich King, then automatically he can raise anyone from the dead. Anyone. I mean anyone from the dead. So he did it with the Four Horsemen. Does it mean he can make his own Death Knights? I think yes. I think he can. And don't use the excuse of, uh, he's weaker than the Lich King, therefore he can't raise things from the dead. Um... Did you see what happened? They get, they get raised from the dead. You remember exactly that. 
And, yeah. And that's the lore idea. Now, when should Blizzard sort this out? Now, or at the end of BFA? Any of those times. Before the end of BFA, after the end of BFA. Uh, yeah, that's it really. Now, what races can be Death Knights? Dark Iron, Void Elves, they get, a, they get a similar sort of starting zone. Yes. Now, the other two for the Alliance would be Raikou and Coltoons. Yes, I know Raikou haven't been announced, but hear me out for my reasons, because I think Blizzard will eventually add them. Coltoon humans, yes. They should be Death Knights as well. Now for the Horde. Sorry, Horde, you don't get that many, but that's my choice in the end. High Mountain Torrent and Zandalari Trolls. Because we're not making Volpira Death Knights. Never, okay? Okay, we have enough furry Death Knights as it is. We have too many as it is. Now, why I'm a bit iffy about the High Mountain Torrent is... Well, they could run with the idea of the Death Lord resurrecting some of them from the dead. But, it's a bit iffy because, well... Either way, if it was the Lich King time, I don't think they would have been around to see him then. That's the only excuse I'll give to High Mountain Torrent. Zandalari Trolls, Coltoon Humans, they are seafaring nations, so therefore seafaring nations may have more chance of bumping into the Scourge than non-seafaring nations on islands such as the High Mountain Torrent and the Shaldenrai, all those races. So, yeah. Now, for the three examples of Coltoon Humans and Zandalari Trolls and Rykul, is they get their own different zones. For the Zandalari Trolls and the... Uh, uh, culture and humans, they get a similar one where they're going seafaring and, you know, they get, in they get in danger, captured by the Scourge, and they are ported all the way to a port, you know which port, in the events of Acherus, you have to go all the way to the battle, all the way to the battle, so, that's that. Now for Vrykul, Vrykul have a different sort of scenario entirely, their starting zone is based in Ice Crown, now I will explain, so, in the actual quest line for Ice Crown, it is the Ebon Blade and the Argent Crusade pushing in, pushing into the land. And you know what they find? Vrykul that serve the Lich King, not Ymiron, because Ymiron's already dead at this point. So, during this event, they are slowly but surely closing in on Vrykul forces. Vrykul forces are like, what's going on here? So, they start retreating, obviously. Now, that's where the event of the Death Knight starts. So, you're resurrected in this sort of retreat event. Not resurrected, but well, you die, but you become a Death Knight anyway. But during those events, the, it's getting worse and getting worse. And during the quest line, there are points where you have to start retreating even more. And then at one point, you get cornered. So, you either go with choice of death or, you know, joining them which you join them or you die you have a choice there because Blizzard I think should start adding choices but the point is you don't choose death because you keep dying endlessly so you have to choose each time you have to choose this one each time which yeah I know it sounds stupid but it, it, it makes sense so that's how Vrykul actually become death knights as well so so you may be asking that's a brilliant idea Scritorius but how am I going to tell Blizzard this? Now, how you tell Blizzard is you go to the forums, you talk to Blizzard, you make videos on YouTube such as mine and use mine as an example, and just talk to them. Talking to the company, they will listen. Especially on the, you know, BFA side of things. Especially the World of Warcraft side of things. They listen. They listen. So, do that. Talk to Blizzard. Make videos and use mine as an example. I will not copyright strike you. I will not let YouTube copyright strike you either. So, that is my video today. Thank you all of you for watching. And a good day to you. And you. And you, 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 and you. For watching my video and also subscribing to my channel. Bye.